definition from Western North Carolina's news leader. This is News 13 This Morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 17th. I'm Jay Siltz. I'm Holly Hedrick. And I'm Julie Wonder. Thanks so much for joining us. We had our plantain fries. We did. They were good. They were excellent, I thought. They were good. They got some heat to them, though. I didn't get them good. Heat. I like the heat. I'm immune to hot food. I'll tell you something else. He's in, in the heat this morning. Yeah, this is crazy. Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. We've got new information this morning as to why he and Maria Shriver have separated. Yeah, it and wasn't I just think this it's gonna nice make, amicable sled. It's going to make a lot more sense now. There's been a big revelation. It a goes baby. back, yeah, <laughs> some 10 years at least. Yeah. yeah, a baby that's now about 10 years old. Problem. Yeah. I think we have a, more in the buzz, right? Yeah, apparently mm -hmm. this was with a house staff <laughs> Yeah, the, the maid. And he told Maria after he left office the, earlier this year. Yeah, so that's the big why she news this morning. Ties with him. <laughs> yeah, We're that not, might explain it. Well, yeah. we wanted a reconciliation, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen now. Well, what was he thinking? I don't know. I don't, I, know. I don't get it, but anyway. Oh, anyway. Yeah. It's hard to answer that question yeah. a lot of times. Let's take a look at what's going on with your Mr. Ritter Plumbing bus stop forecast. 49 outside, take a jacket. It is going to be substantially cooler even than yesterday. <sighs> only in the 50s today. Coming up in your Skywatch forecast, we'll talk about how long the numbers will stay as cool as they are right now. And coming up in your Skywatch forecast, I'll talk about how cool the temperatures will fall today and when we will finally get out of this weather rut with the rain and clouds. That's all coming up in your Skywatch forecast after this break. Now in high definition, this is your News 13 Skywatch forecast. Welcome back, everyone. It is a cool start this morning. We're in the 40s and 50s here in Asheville. It's 43 degrees in Franklin, 49 in Asheville, 50 in Andrews, and 55 in Greer. Combine that with the wind, it feels like the upper 30s and low 40s outside. In fact, our winds have been pretty steady, uh, just below 20 miles per hour through the morning. Northwest winds at 18 miles per hour, currently gusting up a little bit higher. So it really doesn't feel like the end of May out there, and we're only expecting highs in Asheville to top off in the upper 50s today. So don't forget your jacket as you head out. We've been watching some rain since late yesterday. Right now, most of that rain is isolated closer to the Charlotte region where they're starting to see a few problems with some flooding. You can see it's not a lot of rain. The problem is it's just been falling over the same areas over and over and over again. So that's why they're starting to see some problems there. We're right on the fringe of that. We're mainly seeing scattered showers, but we do have showers and rain from Rutherford County up to McDowell County across to Burke County and into Asheville and Buncombe County right now. So scattered showers in the forecast uh, through the day today. Uh, just make sure uh, that you take your umbrella and uh, take a jacket with you. It really just does not feel like the season at all. In fact, your average high for this time of year is 74 degrees. will be 15 to 20 degrees below that today. There is an area of low pressure pulling up just to the north. You can really see that counterclockwise flow there. And basically that system is responsible for keeping us very cloudy and cool. You can see the rotation of that pulling in the moisture all the way off of the Atlantic and the entire eastern seaboard here uh, just getting a hit with that rain. It is cloudy and cool, and we're right on the edge of that. Once you head farther to the south in Georgia, it's clearer and sunnier, not quite as cold, but we'll be stuck in this weather rut today, tomorrow, and then Thursday will start to clear out, but today will be the coldest day that we have in your forecast. So let's go in closer here on your future cast. You'll see those on and off rain chances through the day today. We do dry out overnight and then we have another chance of some rain on Wednesday. Wednesday will be back up near 60, but still very cool for this time of year. For the rest of today, cloudy, cool, with showers, 56 degrees. It'll feel cooler than that with a northwest wind 5 to 15. In the upstate today, a little bit better. 10 degrees makes a big difference. We're right on the verge of that a feeling cool temperature. 66 with a northwest wind 5 to 10. Tonight, 45 and in the upstate 48. And there's that warm up I was talking about. That rain on Thursdays, mainly just in the morning. Thursday, we'll start to see some indications of change and huge changes by the weekend. That 80 will feel pretty great by Saturday and Sunday. Back to you. Well, welcome into the morning surf and this morning we are talking about cars. That's right. Everybody's trying to save money. We've got high gas prices. So these are the Forbes list of the worst cars on the road. Ouch. Yeah, and it's in pictures. So we'll have something to look at here. Now, basically, this all this information has come from Consumer Reports. 
and it says this is based on value, highest cost of ownership, best and more safety performance, fuel efficiency. So number one is the Chevrolet Cruze SUV. That wouldn't make sense. The Cadillac Escalade. It does take a lot of gas, I guess. I think a lot of these are going to be because of this. Yep, the Chevy Tahoe. This is a hybrid, actually. Even the hybrid. Even wow. the hybrid. But they're very expensive, so maybe they don't yeah. think it weighs up. The Dodge Nitro. Yeah, these are all just huge cars. Mm -hmm. The Dodge Dakota, another big vehicle. The trucks. And so most of these are all gas guzzlers. Now, the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Jeep's obviously a very popular brand. The Mercedes Benz. That's not a gas guzzler, but I imagine that they are pretty, pretty pricey. And last, the Chrysler Town and Country. All right. So, if you have any of those, check out the reasons why they think they're. Yeah, and maybe Not check great. out Consumer Reports. All maybe right. there's a way to save some gas. That would be great. Let's take a look at what's going on with the forecast. Save your jacket today. It is chilly out there. We are looking at a huge drop in temperatures. 57 and showers and woodfin today. Good morning for a city. You're seeing rain right now, and you'll only get up to 63 today. In the western counties, we have 58 in Cherokee, 57 in Waynesville, and 60 in Franklin. In the upstate and northeast Georgia, expect 64 in Greenville and rain and only 64 in Lawrence. That's a look at your hometown forecast. Celebrity birthdays today. Actor Craig Ferguson is 49. Full House star Bob Saget is 55. And singer Enya is 50 today. Happy birthday if it is your birthday. All right, the Donald fires himself before voters even give him an interview. Plus, the newest Two and a Half Men castmate is feeling the love. Shelby Lynn has all the day's entertainment headlines in this Hollywood Minute. The Apprentice will not be moving from the boardroom to the Oval Office. Donald Trump announced Monday he is not running for president in 2012. Over the weekend, NBC said it would continue The Apprentice without Trump if he decided to make a run for the White House. Trump says he's confident that if he did run for president, he could win, but says for the time being, he's looking forward to continuing on with the reality series. It'd be interesting. Could be. That's a good choice. He's funny. But will people? Yeah, I don't like know. it because if it's not Charlie Sheen. Like I don't, I don't either. You know, so much of that show, like him or not. Yeah, so I don't know. Right. Will it still work? We'll find out. Yeah, we will. All right, well, let's take a look at what's going on this morning. Maybe it's all just a big punk joke. All right, at 9 a.m., 48 <laughs> degrees at noon Maybe today. Maybe the forecast is. No, no, wow. I wish this was you guys being punked and it was really going to be 80 degrees today, but we've got some rain in there and highs only around 56. Uh, I'm not joking. Take a jacket with you today. You're going to need it. Coming up in your Skywatch forecast, we'll talk about when those temperatures will warm up, and it is pretty quickly, but just not today. Now, in high definition, from Western North Carolina's news leader, this is News 13 This Morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 17th. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. We have a really interesting story coming up. Loud talkers. Loud talkers. On the cell phone. Like in a restaurant, on a bus, on a train. Could get you into trouble. And what happens to the people who talk loud? I haven't read it yet. Well, she actually gets escorted off by some police officers after she pitches a fit. But for loud talking on the cell phone, people complained. It didn't stop. Excellent. No, I'm calling you two out this morning for being loud talkers all morning. You guys are both in bad moods and have been talking loud. I'm not in a morning. bad mood. <laughs> Julie, we've had a discussion on they've the had it. They've been having heated discussions all morning. It was a heated morning. discussion, but it was just a discussion. <laughs> and I'm sitting over here like... <laughs> A content issue. It happens. All right. We're like brother and sister. Yes. Yeah. We're smiling. Yes. We're not mad. <laughs> Just at Julie for calling. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. Now they're gonna talk to me. All right. Here's your Mr. Ritter Plumbing bus stop forecast this morning. 49 degrees. Take a jacket with you today. It is cool outside. Coming up in your Skywatch forecast, I'll talk about how long these numbers will stay below average and how it will impact the rest of your work week. That's just ahead. But first, let's get a traffic report with George Stalling. Good morning, George. Oh, good morning, Andrew. Mountain Brewers are toasting to craft beers this week. News 13's Megan Shearing is live from Asheville Brewing Company. Megan, it's a celebration that means a lot to brewers. It does, Holly, because 
For the third year in a row, Asheville has won Beer City USA. There's a friendly competition amongst all brewers here in the city. Joining me this morning is one of them. This is Mike Rangel, who is the owner of uh, Asheville Brewing Company. And like I said, it's a friendly competition, so brewers take brewing their beer very serious. Absolutely. And you guys are actually expanding to kind of make yourself a little more competitive amongst we other are. brewers. We are. We just got these tanks in this week, and we just got them upright on Friday. So uh, this is going to give us the opportunity to about triple our capacity. So wow. we're very excited. How many brews do you have here? How many different types of beers do you have? We try to keep nine to ten on all the time, and then we have four or five seasonals. Um, this is going to allow us to have a few more of our seasonals on for uh, for longer longer amounts of time. Okay, so not only can you brew a lot more beer now, yes. you can actually get a little more creative because you guys are actually trying to infuse different flavors into beers. With That's this right. Thing. We're just Tell having, me about this. We're just having some fun. This is an infuser. Um, what we do is we we run one of our beers through here, and we put all kinds of different stuff in there. We put we can put roasted peppers in there. We can put fresh strawberries. We can put ginger. We've put bacon in there. That that one didn't go so well. <laughs> Uh, we've tried Lucky Charms, we've done um, lollipops, and, and we've fresh ginger. And so all different mint. types. Just yes, to, just to about anything. Expand the amount of beer that you have here also. Correct. Okay, so like we said, this week is uh, Craft Beer Week yes. nationwide. Asheville is celebrating, you guys are celebrating, and you guys are having an event tonight. Talk real quickly about that. You got it. We're, uh, we're joining up with Tingles this evening at 6 o'clock to have a beer dinner. Mm -hmm. It's $25, and uh, it's four courses and all of the courses that they made are matched up with four of our beers. And okay. They make and, awesome food there. And tickets are limited, so yes. where, can, where can you get them? You can get them at either of our two locations or at Tingles. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us absolutely. this morning. It's been absolutely fun. Again, it is Craft Beer Week here in Asheville and in the, across the country, so Yay. get yourself a local brew and celebrate. Reporting live in Asheville this morning, Megan Shearing, News 13. Now, in high definition, this is your News 13 Skywatch forecast. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're having a great morning in the mountains. It is definitely cool out there. It's only 49 degrees in Asheville, 43 in Franklin, about 55 in Greer, and 56 in Greenwood. As we head through the day today, you're going to see a noticeable change in your forecast. Yesterday was cool. Today is going to be even cooler, and it is very windy today. On top of that, we have a steady north-northwest wind at 18 miles per hour right now with higher gusts, making it feel like the low of 40s, even the 30s in some locations this morning, so you're going to need to dress warmer than you have been as it is going to be a cool day. Expect highs only in the 50s today. We've had some steady rain since late yesterday, especially farther to the east. Charlotte is looking at some heavy rain right now. In fact, some flooding problems there. Most of that rain is staying farther to the east at that point, but we are seeing some showers spread here all across the mountains. Our heaviest rain right now is isolated towards Rutherford County, Burke County, across to McDowell County. Right now we're seeing a steady line of rain from Madison County all the way down to Henderson County and through South Carolina. So take the umbrella, take a jacket today and just be prepared for a very cool day. Temperatures on average 15 to 20 degrees below our seasonal high for this time of year, which is about 74 degrees. There's an area of low pressure here that's sitting just to our east, and that is responsible for bringing us all of this cloudy air. You can see the counterclockwise flow of this, spinning some of this moisture in our direction. As this lifts to the north, the clouds and the rain chances will lift to the north as well, but you'll see we're right on the dividing line of this, farther to the south in Georgia and across the deep south. Things are clear, but then the Carolina is all the way up the eastern seaboard. It is cloudy, rainy, and unseasonably cool. Taking a look here at your future cast on and off rain chances through the day today. We will have another chance of rain on Wednesday as well. Wednesday will start to warm up back near 60 and then Thursday will finally break free of this weather pattern, starting off with some rain and clearing in the afternoon. Today, though, only 56, cloudy and cool with a shower. It's going to be breezy today in the upstate 66. Tonight, Nashville 45 and in the upstate 48. Your seven-day forecast shows we are back into the 80s by the weekend, but today, very cool. Back to you.
Welcome into Healthy Shopping. Joining us again, Ingalls Registered Dietitian Leah McGrath. Leah, we're making Mexican stew, but I see that you have something here that I bought for the first I time know. last week. And I'm so proud of you because <laughs> I asked this question on our Facebook page about some items that people aren't familiar with cooking, and one of them is tomatillos. And tomatillos look like green tomatoes, but they're actually related to gooseberries. So these are tomatillos, and then we have plantains. And these are two items that people are kind of unfamiliar with, so they don't usually buy or use how to know what to do with them. So, Tomatillos, you were saying that you make kind of a salsa dish. I didn't really know what to do with it, but yeah. I saw Bobby Flay do something yeah, similar, and they were there, and I was like, I'm going to try them. So. Yeah, so they, um, a lot of times you do see salsa made, out of made, made with them. Okay. This is actually in a stew. This is uh, a stew with some pork. It's got the plantains. It's got corn. It's got onions. And, Holly, this is my big time saver with onions. I mean... I, uh, I don't know if you cry when you cut up onions, but if you get them frozen in a bag, you use a little bit at a time. You don't have to worry about throwing out onion that you don't use. Okay. And it's already done for you. So I use a little bit there. And then we've got, you can use fresh corn, or this is another new item that I just discovered. Del Monte has these summer crisp, and this is corn, and this is the closest I've cut found to like real summer corn right off can. the cob yeah okay. so when it's not fresh and in season you might want to try this of course frozen corn very inexpensive dish high in fiber no added fat gluten-free you put it over brown rice you put black beans in it it's very filling low cost wow it looks fantastic yeah. and this is something that's really going to fill you up too oh my gosh yes definitely and you can make a vegetarian version you can leave the pork out if you'd like and just have all the different flavors of the tomatillos and the plantains and the corn and the black beans over the brown rice. That sounds good. Yeah. Thanks so much, Leah, oh, for coming welcome. in. Now we know what to do with our tomatillos and our plantains. <laughs> Let's send it back over to Jay. Thanks, guys. Right now, 654, he's one of the youngest college graduates. How one boy is preparing for law school, and he's not even old enough to drive a car. But first, let's take a look at this morning's mind teaser. What college has the largest enrollment? Get Skywatch weather daily on Star 104.3. <laughs> and now here's the answer to today's mind teaser. What college has the largest enrollment? We had a bunch of guesses. The answer, Arizona State University. In the fall of 2010, more than 58,300 students were enrolled at the college. That's a lot wow. of students. Yes. Well, a 15-year-old prepares for law school after knocking out four years of college in record time. You heard right. 15. Ty Hobson Powell is the youngest graduate at Howard University in history. He was studying Chinese at the age of three, graduated from high school at age 13, and then went on to attend college. Wow. Ty completed four years of courses in just two years. Now he's preparing for law school at the University of Baltimore. As he embarks on a new chapter in his life, Ty is also hoping to achieve another milestone, his driver's license, which may be the toughest of them all. <laughs> That's fantastic. It is. Don't we get an early start? Do you want to explain your seat here? You set me in the middle of you two to break you guys up. We are not. We were happy. You, they were, let, let me clarify. They were all in good fun bickering, but it was all, all 30, in good 30 fun. 30 minutes later, she I, I, ca people. I called them out on it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it was funny. Hysterical. Felt like the they, weather today. Yeah, they told me it wasn't funny at all. All right. <laughs> 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 that just made me to me too. All right, 56 today. Take a jacket today. It is cold outside, sort of like the studio this morning. <laughs>